Okay, this video is going to be how to use the simple shapes in Illustrator to create an animal based on a photo. And just before I get started, I want to note that I am in Essential Classic as far as my workspace. I'll show you how to bring open this extra palette here of swashes. But before I do that, I'm going to bring in a photo, kind of use the photo as inspiration for my graphic. To do that, I've already got a photo saved on my desktop and I'm going to bring it in as a template. So I'm going to go File, Place. I'm going to locate that image. It's located right here and I'm going to select Template and I'm going to place it. What Illustrator does is it brings it in and puts it on a layer. Let me go ahead and move these palettes out of the way here. Okay. So what it does is it brings the image in, it locks it down, and it also uh, lowers the opacity. And I want to make it much bigger. So I'm going to unlock that layer and I'm going to scale this image up. So I'm going to go to a corner here. I'm going to hold down my shift key so I don't pull it out of proportion and scale it up. I don't want to interfere with this layer as I'm drawing, so I'm going to go ahead and lock it down again. Okay. Now I'm going to look at this image here of this cow and I'm going to try to break it down into simple shapes. Uh, hopefully you can see that the head of the cow is very much, it could either be an ellipse or it could be a rectangle that's been rounded. I think I'm going to use a rectangle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my rectangle tool and pull out a rectangle. I'm noting that I'm on this layer that's locked down, so I need to make sure I'm on my drawing layer. Okay, going back in, and I'm going to pull out a rectangle. Okay, move it a little bit more in the center here. And I don't want the fill because I want to be able to see the image in the background. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose none as far as the fill. Now I can see that. Definitely it's not a perfect rectangle that I want, but rather something that's rounded. So I'm going to go ahead and click inside this little circle here, and I'm going to round these corners. Okay. It's a little bit better. I'm having a hard time seeing the edge, so I'm going to come back up here and just add a stroke, at least for now, so I can navigate around without... So I'm can totally see the shapes. If I don't have a stroke, I can't see the shape at all. Now, I may come back and modify this further, but that's the initial shape of it. Maybe I can make it a little bit thinner, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Now, next I wanna tackle the horns. Now, the horns could be a triangle, okay? And that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna to go to the simple shapes and I'm gonna do the polygon. I'm going to double click the polygon tool to bring open the dialog box. Okay, so I had the tool selected. I clicked in my document and I want to adjust the sides to three and three and say OK. So I get the triangle and definitely I want it longer and I want it rotated. Okay, I'm going to go to the corner and I'm going to rotate that triangle put that in position and I'm going to squash it down a little bit as well. There's definitely more I'm going to do with this, but at this point I'm just going to leave it be. I'm going to just kind of draw in the initial shapes. Then I'll go back and I'll refine. Now, kind of the muzzle or the nose of the cow. Again, I can see a rounded rectangle in there. So I'm going to pull out, and I'll actually just do a rounded rectangle and pull out a rounded rectangle. I will tackle the ears. The ears to me look like they could be ellipse based on an ellipse. So I'm going to pull out an ellipse for the ear. And I'm not doing both sides right now because what I'd like to do is copy these and move them to the other side. I'm going to rotate it a little bit here. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is at least one eye. 
So since I've got the other shapes here, I think I'll work on the other side of his, he of his head. And I'm just gonna base the eyes off a circle. So I'm gonna click and hold and pull out a circle. And I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit, make the eye a little bit bigger than normal. Move it in a little bit. I'm gonna tweak it over with my arrow keys. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna worry about the body just yet but maybe add another element. Now here, the nostrils, I could base that again, just on a simple circle. So I'll pull out a circle. Reposition that using my arrow keys. Okay, now I'm gonna copy some of these elements to the other side. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna modify these shapes because they're not quite what I want them to be. And when I copy them over, I want them to be completed. I want to bend this triangle up a little bit. In order to do that, I have to have another anchor point here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my pen options and I'm gonna add an anchor point. And I'm gonna add the anchor point right here. Now what I can do is I can go to my direct selection tool, which allows me to manipulate individual anchor points. I'm gonna select this in anchor point and I'm going to move it up, okay? Now I'm going to move this one a little bit over again, maybe that one up a little bit more to kind of get a little bit of an angle, and I'm gonna smooth out these angles as well. Okay. So if I zoom in here at this horn here and select it again, okay? I can see here, and I've got the direct selection tool, I have that little circle which will allow me to round these corners. Okay, I'm not going to do it too much, just a little bit. Okay, maybe I want to move this up a little bit more. So I'm going to open that, move it up. Okay, okay that's, that's pretty good. Maybe I want to stretch it out a little bit more. Okay, all right. Now the ears here. Now the ears. Maybe I want them to go from something that's a little bit thicker to something that's a little bit thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move this over for right now, and I'm gonna to go to my pen tool options again, and I wanna change this corner from a curve into a corner. So I'm gonna click on it, and it gets rid of that corner option for me. And what I can do then is move it into place. It's a little bit more like what I want it to be. Okay, again, I can go back and modify it. This is just a quick demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab this horn. I'm going to copy it, edit, copy, edit, paste. I'm going to reflect it using the reflect tool and I'm gonna reflect it vertically and say, okay. And then I'm gonna reposition it in the spot that I want for the horn, okay? Definitely I'm gonna to wanna to be using my alignment tools as well. So I'm going to select both of these and align them to the top. I also want them inside the head at the same position. This one's not as much outside the head as this one. So I'm gonna grab my arrow keys on my keyboard and move it in a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing for the ear. I'm going to edit, copy, edit, paste, and I'm gonna use my reflect tool again and reflect it over and move it into position. Okay. Same thing with the eye. I'm going to grab the eye and copy, paste, copy, paste, move that one in position and maybe I want to do a pupil as well. Okay. Same thing with this one, this nostril, I'm going to copy and paste. Edit, copy, edit, paste, and move that into position. I'm going to use my alignment tools to align these to the top open up my alignment panel and align them to the top of each other. And since they're both selected, I can also move them where I want them, move them <laughs> where I want them to be. All 
All right, if I hide my image, okay, it kind of looks like a cow. I definitely adding color is going to enhance it, but um, I think I will tackle the body at this point. Okay, to tackle the body, I'm going to zoom out. I use my zoom tool here. It's got a plus on it, but I actually want to zoom out. So I'm going to hit my option key to zoom out. I'm going to use my hand tool to move my artboard over. Now, the body to me looks like an ellipse to me. So I'm going to go to my, my ellipse tool and pull out an ellipse. Okay going to pull it over a little bit. Okay. Now the cow isn't exactly standing right towards me in the photo so it's a little bit off as far as that goes and I definitely can manipulate this shape as well. Kind of goes in a little bit so I'll go ahead and do that. So I want to get rid of this anchor point. Not, not the anchor point but the curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my anchor point tool. I'm going to click on this. Okay and I'm going to modify that curve. Okay, I want it to come back to a curve but I don't want it the exact same curve at the top here so I'm going to go back again to this tool. I'm going to click on that point and I'm going to pull out my handles but not as much as before and I want to make them perfectly horizontal. Okay, a little bit better. I'm going to hide the cow and I'm going to straighten things out a little bit. I want to actually make sure that this is centered. Okay, I can see this isn't centered to the head, so I'm going to use my arrow keys to tweak that over a little bit, get to the center of the head here. Okay. I'm going to turn this back on. Again, the, the photo in the back, I mean, it's not perfectly straight, so it's not going to match up perfectly. Now, the legs could just be rectangles but I think I'm going to add a little bit of color just to see where I'm at with the cow. Now if you open up your swash panel under window swashes, okay that where is it here? Let me try that again. Window swashes keeps wanting to load all of them and I only want the swash panel which is here. That's a little bit annoying Okay, that uh, Illustrator just opens up everything. You try that one more time. I still didn't get it. Swashes. There we go. I'm gonna pull that out. Get these guys out of the way. Now I could use the default swashes that are in here, but I, you know, I don't think I have a great variety in here for what I want to do. Plus, I want to show you something else. At the lower left hand corner of this swash panel I get a little icon that's supposed to be little books library and if I click in here I could go into different colors I could do earth tones foods gradients nature although I don't see anything for animals in nature so I'm going to do earth tone tones and I get an earth tone palette that I could use instead of this one up here and I think I will do that so I'm going to grab the body and I'm going to decide maybe I will make the body this color. Okay. Since this is the last object I, I drew out, it's on top of everything else, so I'm going to send it to the back. So I'm going to go Object, Arrange, Send to Back. I'll go ahead and do the ears. I'm going to select both of these ears by holding down my Shift key and maybe I'll use a lighter brown. I'm going to use this one for the ears. I'm going to go ahead and grab the head. Now the head was the very first thing that I drew out. So it's not, if I do it right now, I'm actually going to hide my eyes. So maybe I won't do the eyes right just yet. So I'm going to grab the two eyes and I actually want it to be a white. So I'm going to come up here and do the white. Now the muzzle or the nose, maybe I'll do a darker brown. Come down here and select, maybe I'll do that one. I'm going to make the nostrils black. So I'm going to select both of them and select a black. I'll come up here and do the black. Going to do the head. Okay, maybe I'll make it a lighter color. This one. 
I'll do the horns. Maybe I'll do a shade of this color. I'll select both of them. And maybe I'll make them a little bit darker. I'll select this one. I want to move these in the back of the head. So I'm going to select them both and go Object, Arrange, Send to Back. OK. It's coming together. I would want to make sure both of these ears are behind the head. I'm going to select both of them and go Object, Arrange, Object, Arrange, Send to Back. OK. But I do want the body behind the ears. So again, Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Maybe I want to move these in a little bit so I don't see like the edge of the horn here. Move those in. I'm doing that with my arrow key. Okay. I think my cow needs some pupils. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my ellipse tool again, create a circle, move that into the center of the eyeball here. Again, I could change the color. I'll just leave it this color for now. I'm going to copy that object, paste it, and move it to the other eye. I must not have really copied it. Let me try that again. Edit, copy, edit, paste. And there you go. So hopefully you can see how you could potentially create an, an, a graphic animal based on an image. Now, if I was going, and before I stop this, before, if I want to do kind of the different colors here, what I would do personally would be I would cut this object into a piece and recolor one of them, one of these pieces. Maybe I will do that with my pencil tool. I'm going to grab the pencil tool and I'm just going to create kind of a wave through the cow here. Let me do that one more time. I want a little bit more wavy. Okay, there we go. I'm going to select that line and the cow. And what I'm going to do is bring over my Pathfinder. I'm going to divide them. Unfortunately, when you divide them, it brings it to the, the forefront and groups it. So I'm going to go Object, Ungroup, and send those objects to the back again. Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Select that piece and give it a color. Okay. All right, simple cow icon. If you don't want the strokes, you can always select everything and do no stroke. And a fun little icon. All right.